Good morning guys, my name is Kate and if you're new here, welcome to the channel. So today we are doing something a little different. We're starting a new series on this channel called I Try DIY, where I pick popular DIY trends on Pinterest, on the internet, and I try and do them myself. So today we are doing a Lord of the Rings Hobbit door welcome sign, I guess. Not welcome sign, but one of the wreaths that you hang on your on your door and so we're gonna go to Dollar Tree and if I find everything at Dollar Tree then we're gonna not go to Hobby Lobby but if I need something from Hobby Lobby then we're gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby. Come on and let's go see what we can find. Okay guys, so I just got out of Dollar Tree and I only paid, I don't know if you can see that, I only paid $11. And one of the things that I bought was not even for this DIY, I just saw something while I was in there and I was like, ooh, I need this, <laughs> and I grabbed it. So um, I did not find everything I needed, so I still need moss. And I live in an area in the south where I could go and I could forage for it myself because it grows naturally here. Um, but I, I just don't have time for that, so we are gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby just to get some moss. So let's go. Okay, so I just got out of Hobby Lobby. I got a little bit extra stuff because who goes into Hobby Lobby and gets exactly what they came in for without getting extra stuff. I don't know anybody that can do that. So I got some, let's see. This is the moss that I was looking for. But I also picked up some little mushrooms and some little butterflies to see um, and make it a little bit more whimsical. So we'll see, we'll see that. And I'll put the total price that I spent on all this um, at the end of the video. If you're trying to do this DIY project at home with me, these are some things that you're going to need. So you're going to need something circular, lightweight, to use as your base. Uh, you're also going to need a wreath of some kind. You can decorate that wreath however you want, but you're going to need something wreath-like to make a base. You're going to need greenery to put in that wreath. I went with these little ferns as well as moss. And I didn't include a picture of it, but you're gonna need something small and circular for a door handle. I ended up using a wooden bead. You're also gonna need anything else to make it feel whimsical, magical. I use these tiny mushrooms and the butterflies. You're gonna need scissors, as well as a hot glue gun. And of course, you're gonna need brushes and paint. You can use whatever color paint you want. I went with a typical green, but you can use literally any color you want. So this is me starting my project. I was watching the new season of The Mandalorian, so you can see I stopped several times, but this is definitely a trust the process kind of craft because at the beginning, the paint was streaky. I didn't know what was going on. The base just wasn't holding the paint well, even after it dried. So I ended up having to go in with a second coat for this. You'll see that in just a little bit. Yep, there's that second coat. Um, but after that second coat, it ended up looking phenomenal. Also, for some reason, my tripod wouldn't work during this process, and I didn't get to record all of this content. It broke right after this clip. So I tried to go in right after this and make it look very wood-like, like it was planks of wood, and I'm sorry, you guys didn't get to see that, but I put the little sign that Gandalf puts on Frodo's, or on Bilbo's door, sorry. Lord of the Rings friends are going to come for me for that. And I am putting down the little wooden doorknob right now, which is just a wooden bead. And I know it does not look centered. It's the angle that the camera's at because I checked and double checked before I glued this thing down. I ended up having to redo that mark because you'll see in the next clip, uh, the wreath actually covered it. So. Um, I had to redo that mark and my next goal was to put moss all over the inside of this wreath and I also took out all the flowers and granary out of that wreath so I could do whatever I wanted to it so I had a clean base. So I ended up adding these fern leaves that you guys saw earlier and I tacked them down with glue later. You can see I put the moss in and you can actually see the symbol now. That's why I had to move it. Uh, and then I added the butterfly and the 
mushrooms to make it a little bit more whimsical. This is it on my front door. Uh, I apologize that my front door is dirty, uh, but I think it turned out cute and it costs less than $20. So that was kind of crazy. Uh, you'll see at the end my breakdown of costs and everything. Hey guys, so I had some problems with this wreath situation. It is now day two of this project and I had to replace the butterfly because it died. <laughs> um, not really, but I was moving it and the butterfly, the wings are made out of feathers and the wing just snapped right off. So I had to replace the orange butterfly with a white butterfly and then my tripod wouldn't work. So a lot of this, I didn't get to record exactly what I wanted because I wanted to show you guys the process of me doing the whole entire thing. Um, but my tripod kept falling and I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So a lot of this will be me telling you what I did and then showing you after the fact. But yeah, this is the final product. So I probably spent $20 max on this from the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree and then the few items I got, the butterflies and the little mushrooms that I got from Hobby Lobby. So with that being the most expensive thing, I probably spent about nine or $10 at Hobby Lobby and I spent about 11 at the Dollar Tree, but that 11 also included several items that were not for this project. So I'm gonna say around $20 to make this DIY Hobbit wreath. And I think it turned out pretty cute, but if you like this kind of content, make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed so that you're notified when I post more content. If you wanna see me do more DIY stuff, just comment down below and let me know. And uh, hopefully we can continue this series of I Tried DIY. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.